Hello, my name is Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. If you're new, welcome. If you saw my last video, you saw me pour a seven chamber split cup. My issue was with Artist Loft soft body white paint. And whether I wanted white in the paint, in the, in the pour, I didn't have any other paint except for the Artist Loft soft body. So I, I was afraid it was going to puff up and do weird stuff because it has been lately. So what I did was I alternated another color in that chamber along with the white. And I figured that would maybe dull it down a little bit. Well, you know, if you saw the video that it just puffed up everywhere. Well, I ended up spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. At some point I knew I was going to have to pour over it. So I poured over it and I layered a cup with some colors I had left and poured over it. Uh, where's the dry one? Well, it, it came out pretty. It came out nice. Lots of copper. Um, but, you know, we try again. I'm definitely going to try the seven chamber cup again. And I will not be defeated. <laughs> Today, what I want to do is a dustpan pour. I've seen a couple artists do it and it looks intriguing to me. I'm going to work on this 12 by 16 canvas, which requires about, a, about seven ounces of paint. I believe I'm going to do a straight pour into this dustpan. I got this at the dollar store, a little broom with it. Um, and then I'm going to transfer it to the canvas, leaving negative space. My colors are cadmium, cadmium red, uh, medium hue, which I darken just a little bit uh, with a very small amount of black. I have Artist Loft so Soft Body Black. I have Artist Loft Soft Body White. And I have a Liquitex Prism Violet. This here is Deco Arts 24 karat gold and Artist Loft Copper. Yeah, let's load the cup up and pour before we uh, paint the background. I want to put in just a small amount of white. I got to adjust it accordingly to the size of this cup. I cut off part of the cup so I wouldn't, didn't have too big of a mouth. I wanted something a little smaller. Okay. Let's, let's go in with the copper. And then the red. Let me show you the thickness of my paint. Uh, I hope you can see this. It leaves a mound. It's, it's fairly thick. This probably has to be watered down a little bit. But as you can see, it flows off the stick. It leaves a little mound. If you do a trace on top, uh, it should stay about maybe two to three seconds. Okay. Well, I put a little bit of this prism violet. And then we're going to go in with the gold. Just a small amount of gold. And I want to go in with the red. I also want to put in just a little bit of black. I'm going to go to copper again. Violet. Cadmium red. Hmm. That's probably enough. 
Let me put just a little bit of white right here. And a little more gold. All right, that should be plenty of paint. Let me put a little black right there. All right. Now, I'm going to do my pour before I... Uh... Um, do the background. No, I'm going to do the background first. <laughs> Uh, how is everybody today? It's going to be another 105 degree here in Texas where I am. 105 degrees. All right, let me put some gloves on. My poor husband has to be in and out all day long on his job. It's just been a, it's been a brutal summer. All right, now I give this a nice base coat. I'm wondering if I should put the paint here too. Let me think about it. Spread it out. My little guy Winston's in the studio with me today again. Yeah, like I said, I've seen a couple of artists do this. I want to go big. I want to do it on a bigger, a larger canvas. I want to experiment first. Okay, let's get it nice and spread out. Nice even coat. Yeah, let's go ahead and put paint here also. Yeah, my poor garden has suffered this year. It's just so hot. You you can't put enough water on the plants. It doesn't even matter how much you water them. My roses have are just barely hanging on. Early this season, they were so beautiful. We actually had a little extra rain this winter time compared to the last couple winters. And they were huge. They were big and beautiful. I had roses uh, the beginning part of March. And uh, probably through half of, half of April. And then they just went downhill. No rain. Too hot. All right. Let me change these real quick. sip of coffee mm. okay all 
Here we go. I'm going to do a straight four. Maybe I'll turn it at the end. Uh, let's see. I've never tried this before. It kind of re reminds me of the paintings that Dolly did with the melting clocks. I want to do it in a black and white ring pour. No, I'm dripping paint on the canvas. That wasn't helpful. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that. Just move it up here where I'm going to do the pour. Danny. My big dummy. <laughs> Mommy silly. He's just watching me. Oh, my little guy. He's going to be 16 in a couple weeks. I'm new to YouTube. And if you like this video, don't forget to Ring, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost anything and it really will help my channel out. All right, where am I missing up? I guess I'm not. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go from here. Not sure how fast to pour it. wild. I think I want to go up here first. A little bit of it to come down. I think I can do better. I don't like how the center turned out. Let's make another cup real quick. I'm going to try one of these small cups. All right, a little bit of white. A little bit of gold. You know, you know you're in there. Bit of black. Some copper. They're white. A little more gold. Where's my phone? 
I mix all my part my paints uh, two part flow trawl to one part paint except for my craft paints which is the, this deco art gold is uh, about one part paint to one part flow trawl maybe a little less okay let's see if we can get some red out of here Let's try that again. I'm just I'm going to go ahead and pour right back into here. I like that prism violet next to the red. It's beautiful. Let's try that again. You know that if you do fluid art, that they're all experiments, really. All right. Let's give that a torch. this black if you don't get the bubbles out you'll end up with little pits and you'll have little white little white holes so you want to get all your bubbles out Gloves over here. Let me grab them. Yeah. Okay. I think the pour is a little better. I think I went too fast the first time. Let's see what happens. All right. Go off the side closest to you first. It's sort of hard to estimate how much paint you need if you want to leave negative space, which is what I want to do. We plan for negative space all the time and can't achieve it. It's really very hard.
the colors are beautiful. And prism violet is always nice next to red. All right. I want to bring it down just a little bit. Walk it down. Yeah, I think a black and white ring pour would look really cool on a, a, a red background, a red base coat. All right, and I want it to just droop in the middle. So I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to take it down there. And then I'm going to go down. might have done it. Let's look at it for a second. See how that artist loft puffs up? I'm going to take it down here. I don't like how much white is there. I'm going to take it down. You got beautiful cells. That Deco Art 24 karat gold never fails. Yeah, I want to try it on a bigger canvas. Definitely. See on the bling, the gold. Beautiful. fun. I learned a couple things. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. This is video number 23 for me. Don't forget to clean the bottom of your canvas. I'm going to get all those drips off. Touch up your corners. All right, I'm going to try to grab the camera and bring it down. I've had problems with it cutting off. I know I'm hitting the button. I'm a dork that way. Um, if it does cut off, I want to say in advance, thank you for stopping by. And come and see me again. Thank you, I'm gonna bring you down. Hopefully the camera doesn't cut off.
Excuse the noise. Ugh. Cool boulder cells. I think I might try that uh, prism violet and that carmine again. Whoops, where are we going, folks? Stop. Now, now my phone's acting silly. Yeah, I'm going to try those colors again. I like that. You know, I told you cadmium red medium hue. And I was wrong. It was Crimson by Windsor Newton. I'm sorry about that. I like this corner right here. Beautiful. Thank you. Bye.